My name is Max Strauss with ProInterviews.org, Facebook.com slash ProInterviews, and Twitter.com slash ProInterviews. I'd like to welcome you to the interview with Deontay Williams. Deontay attended the University of North Carolina and played throughout each year while he was there. He finished his junior and senior season with 97 tackles, 6 interceptions, and 1 forced fumble. He broke his leg in the Franklin American Music City Bowl game. He has been going through rehab and he has entered the 2011 NFL Draft. He will eagerly wait to find a new home this week. Here's the interview with Deontay and I hope you enjoy the collage also. How do you connect with your fans? Well, you know, you see them at games and stuff, and uh, especially here at Carolina, we had a little well walk, so we always would get a chance to see them, man, before we, um, you know, played the game and whatnot. So I was walking on Franklin Street last night to get something to eat, and, um, you know, seeing a couple of them out there, man. So, you know, I always stop and show love to them if they recognize me. If you weren't heading to the NFL, what would you want to do? I think it had to be something involving kids and sports back in my hometown. Uh, that's definitely something that I want to do after I get them playing. Uh, you know, I remember days when I was growing up playing rec league and I couldn't get to my practices, so I couldn't go to practice. But my coaches came and picked me up and, you know, did things of that nature so that I could play. Uh, you know, waving a fee and stuff like that and all types of things, man. So I want to um, make sure that kids get the same opportunities that I did. So uh, what was your high school football experience like? Uh, it was okay, man. Um, my first three years, we had pretty good teams. My senior year, man, we had a change of coaching staff. And, uh, you know, I really understood the, you know, the difference in, in having coaches and stuff like that, man. This is very dramatic and uh, sometimes can be very positive, but it wasn't a very positive experience um, for our senior team that year. Uh, what was your transition like to UNC? Um, it was pretty decent. Um, I was always a good student, so um, it wasn't an issue as far as grades. Uh, you know, you get a little more freedom and stuff, so you got to start yourself up. You got to be the one that, you know, wakes yourself up and make sure you go to class and make sure you're on top of everything, man. So, um, you know, things of that nature, man. But as far as athletic-wise, uh, it was a bit of difference. Uh, my school wasn't very, wasn't very uh, up to date when it comes to football. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I ran to guys like Hakeem Nix, where you know their high school was basically like a college. You know, my high school wasn't like that. Um, you know, we only had about three different defenses that we played. You know, it was a couple of different offensive plays and stuff like that. It wasn't anything very complicated, so. You know, it was kind of adjustment trying to learn that. But, um, you know, I was always a kind of smart guy, so I was able to pick up on it pretty well. You mentioned uh, Hakeem Nix. What's it like to um, practice against Hakeem and uh, Greg Little? Uh, it was, it, it's was. it been a great experience, man. Hakeem, Tate, Brooks Foster, and Greg, man. Those were all great guys, man, that I got a chance to play against. And, um... You know, it's it's just it's very hard to say which one was the best because all of them had different attributes and stuff, you know. But um, I, I count it as an honor, man. It's it's kind of like iron sharpening iron, man. That's how we uh, you know, did it at Carolina. So on the other side of the ball, you play with uh, Robert Quinn, and what's it like to have a, a phenomenal defensive end play with you? Uh, to his credit, man, he's a great athlete and a great guy as well. Um. One thing about him, man, he, he's very humble and he, he's very, uh, he's a freak of nature. You know, there's, there's no ways of getting around that. But, um, you know, we have freaks of nature everywhere, you know, on, on our team. So, uh, you know, we all grinded together. We all played together. So we all got very good together. What do you remember from that Boston College game where you had three interceptions? And Well, the one thing about it, it was my birthday. I turned 22 on that day. Um... Another thing was I had a dream the night before about me doing that, having three interceptions and um, doing some of those things that I did. So it was kind of crazy, man. I was telling people about my dream and um, that I had the night before the game and it actually came true. Do you have a favorite memory from UNC? Um, I have a couple of favorite memories. My most, you know, uh, 
important and favorite memory was uh, when I got my degree. And, you know, a lot of my homeboys was there with me. But, um, you know, football-wise, I think probably when we beat Notre Dame, that feeling that we had, it was at home. And also um, probably when we beat Florida State and when we beat um, probably VTech at VTech. This past year, in the beginning of the year, you were suspended. Why were you suspended? The reason I was suspended was because I took a trip to California and while I was there, I asked my friend to, uh, who used to play at Carolina, to um, book hotel arrangements for me. And um, when he did that, they counted that as a violation. Uh, we paid him back, me and my uh, roommate at that time paid him back. But uh, they still, you know, considered that a violation. What do you think the most important thing you learned from being suspended and having to miss football games this season? Um, well, I won't really say that... Uh, it was something to really learn about. I felt like it was kind of a witch hunt um, type of thing. But at the same time, I kind of, uh, you know, I counted as, you know, I was responsible for what I did. And um, I just counted it as that. I've always been the kind of guy that, that goes through those type of things, you know, not blaming things on other people. So You broke your leg in the bowl game, and then you had surgery early January and. uh What's been the process so far that you've gone through? Uh, just rehabbing every day, uh, two and three hours a day, and then working out uh, afterwards over four. Um, you know, I just had a minor surgery to take the screw out of my foot um, so I can get back to running and, uh, and sprinting and stuff like that. You were invited to the combine. What was it like? Uh, it, was, it was a good experience. Um, it definitely showed the business side of things. Um, what to expect, you know, kind of, you know what I'm saying, to get around guys that all got the same goals and are trying to go the same places. Um, I think that that was a good thing, man, just for me to experience that. And also to see, you know, kind of my competition just for the draft and um, see how you measure up against all the other great athletes uh, in your position. What was your pro day like? Uh, about the same, about the same, man, just to see all the great athletes that we got here at Carolina. It was actually bonkers, man. They had all types of head coaches and all types of people there, man. So it was, it was just like a – I've never seen a pro day like that, um, ever. What's the most important attribute that you bring to an NFL team? Well, I don't know. I don't know what the most important one would be. Uh, I try to do a lot of different things when it comes to uh, getting right with, um, you know what I'm saying, my pass coverage, my, my covering skills. Uh, my tackling, you know, I feel like everybody has to work on parts of the game. You know, um, I just feel like I got to work on all of it. I'm not to the point where I'm in the prime of my uh, career yet. So, you know, I'm working to get to that point. Um, but I feel like, you know, my knowledge of the game, I know football, you know, since I've been around it, you know, I'm a student of the game. I study football. So uh, things come very naturally for me. Um, at my position, you know, safety, I can do free safety or strong safety or play nickel, so I can do a lot of different things um, with my athletic ability. If you could compare your game to anyone in the NFL, who would you compare your game to? My coach used to always talk about me and Sean Taylor. Uh, you know, he said I ain't strike quite as fierce as he did, but, uh, I mean, I'm a little bit lighter than him as well, but, you know, the way that I kind of played, what he reminded him of Sean Taylor, uh, Coach Davis, of course, you know what I'm saying, coaching and being around Sean Taylor. Um, he said those things about, I mean, I feel like Darren Sharper is another guy that I could uh, model my game after or uh, say that we kind of compare. But what's a better feeling for you, making a big hit or intercepting the ball? Oh, man. I mean, it's, they're both very valuable parts to uh, playing safety or in the secondary, rather. But I think intercepting the pass is, 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 is my joy, man. I love intercepting the pass, getting the ball back in my hands. I used to play receiver coming into college. So, uh, you know, you know, receivers always want the ball in their hands, man. So I still kind of have that mentality back there. What do you think your draft day experience will be like? Uh, I think it'll be a good experience. Um, you know, not really nervous. I just want to know, you know, exactly where I'm be living at. Um, find out about my situation, my financial situation, and uh, you know, and go on from there. I'm looking forward to working hard and seeing um, how I can help whatever team drives me. If you could describe yourself as any ice cream flavor, what would you be and why? 
Uh, I really don't know, <laughs> to be honest with you, man. My favorite ice cream is cookies and cream, so I don't know. I don't know on that one, man. For someone who wants to play in the NFL or even D1 football, what's the best advice you can give them? I think that uh, with hard work, you can accomplish anything, man. Um, I accomplished a lot of plays I made on the football field, a lot of gains that I made in the offseason uh, to my hard work and dedication. And, um, you know, I think the mind is a very powerful tool. And if you can beat people mentally uh, by you outworking them and knowing that you outwork them, then I think that that escalates your uh, athletic ability a lot. And is there anything else you want to tell your fans that we haven't really talked about? Um, I think that one part that, uh, you know, that never really gets out to the public as much as I would like is that um, I'm a very religious guy. And, um, you know, I don't know if my fans or whoever really knows that as much as I would like them to. But, uh, you know, I love God. God's, you know, the Lord and Savior of my life. And without him, man, I truly don't know where I would be uh, today. And, I, you know, I really appreciate all the blessings that he's bestowed upon me. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Deontay. I really appreciate it. No problem, man. Take care of yourself, man. I hope your site does well and all of that good stuff. Thank you for listening to the interview with Deontay Williams. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you leave your comments below as well. Please check out my website, prointerviews.org, for other interviews. Like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash prointerviews. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash prointerviews. And subscribe to me on YouTube at youtube.com slash prointerviews. Thanks again for listening, stay tuned for more, and feel free to contact me.